you guys can really feel how the meta has slowed down here. Uh, I'm going to hold the thought as Ambition is coming in. It's going to be spotted on a ward, but the first back for the Ash, she goes and uses her teleport She's trying to early. strike back, take some of this camp, but uh, looks like he has only been able to get two of the small rounds. Good success on that one. Does only have one loss on it so far. Vegas Rise through all the Rise reworks. Pretty legendary as Ambition. Oh boy, need to get that in there. Nice silence on the assumption, but effort is going to be there on time, and Bang will be just fine. The tall is running down the river, doesn't have TP himself. Trying to get that engage onto Ruler. He's going to miss the cleanse coming in anyway. Really nice slow, though, onto three members as the entire backline took a ton of damage. Missed Paddlestar as well. This should go over to the side of SKT. There's the smite from Blank. Now they're going to be just looking for the disengage. Gen G still very low. Well, Ambition hanging around here, but actually SKT is looking for the dive. Chains of Corruption, but there is that ultimate effort. Gets the three stacks on a ruler. The Wish comes in, and he has a bit more health. And Corte J, rather, effort is going to be locked down. Finally, Blank and Pyrian get into the lane. They were zoned out for so long, but the first blood will go to effort in the bottom. Are they going to be there a little bit later? Looks like Gen G know that this is happening, but... And they steal it. It's going to be up to the side of the Paddle Star. Maybe the Smite, but he's held down. And here's Tall coming in. There's the big burst damage from the AP Cannon. He gets the kill onto the Trundle. And they want more. Fly is on the run uh -oh. there. But the arrow is perfect. A double kill to the rise of Perian. And a huge start to the game from SKT. And he's going to put down the Rift Herald in mid lane as well. That's more rolls down for SK Top on T1. SKT just playing as a team, as you've mentioned. Fly and Ambition think, hey, we can come in here and try to steal, but... Watch the minimap during this fight. I know the action is enticing, but already the Tom Ken should move to where that control ward is, near the Soraka. They get the map play. Fly, flashing a straight line. Shades of clear love at Worlds there into this game. We're seeing in action, though, Genji don't know exactly what to do. Gonna be a bit damage onto the Tom Kench. Yeah, he gets locked down for way too long here. The stopwatch comes in, he gets the gray held, but he is gonna go down. The wish keeps ambition alive too here. Blank coming on in, and the TP here from Cube trying to break down that front line now is SKT. But might the be there for SKT pre-20 minutes. And uh they're gonna actually try to take a little bit more than that. They get the flash away from Cube and provides the them anything. Let's watch the turn here and also where the cannon is. Trying to come on in here. It's going to go over to the side of Ash, who takes a ton of damage in the front line. Has to flash the Chains of Corruption. It's all he was looking for the flank. But it's just the one TP and the one big team fight. She can win it for the team. Now, they get the Infernal. Bang takes a ton of damage in the front line, but effort right there to zone him out. And that's the problem. Is even with the information Cannon is there, they can't walk up as forward to try to get that particular Infernal. Oh Free boy. damage. Once again, Perian just going on in. The Realm Orb here. Oh. Ambition, the uh, arrow does go wide, but even through the wish, he gets it! As Fly does not block for his teammate, and Ambition goes down. Go from Cube, they do want to challenge in here. SKT not super healthy on Blank, but the other two members, very healthy. Look at Tall from the top side. He would love a flank here, but this fight is going to be in from the side of Blank. And there you go. Ruler going to take a ton of damage in the front line. Here comes Tall looking for four members. Going to get on top of Cube, but he wants to get Ruler. Not going to get the best flank, but they get the Baron. For many, many years. This is the definition of a game that a pick comp isn't set up for. The 1-3-1 one, one has been beautiful. <laughs> Fly might just straight up die. Perian flashes in. Just trying to beat him in. Uh, the flinching. Bang taking a ton of damage. Ruler getting low too. But the consumption is there. The Devourer effort able to save his AD carry once again. Yeah, now I think you can greed for the four-man ultimate and not yeah. think too much about it. Ash Arrow sails wide. Don't know where that's going. But speaking of sailing, his effort and bang. Well, they're going to get behind Fly here. And he's in a lot of trouble. Has to flash away. Does have his cleanse. And in fact, Tal will have to be Devoured to save his life. Look at SKT, I love the zoom out here. Just looking for the pick, it's gonna land on the side of Ruler. He has his cleanse, it's gonna hold on to it for now. Ambition is forced to flash away, but they're turning on the Parian. Nice devour there right on time. Here's Tal, trying to go through the front line actually. It's not gonna work out though, has the Zonias. This should be a good pick on a Tal, they get it here. And the 5v5 for SKT. Execution with... needs to be better. So far, we can see that the win streak for SKT has improved their fundamentals. They got a huge lead, but now they're trying to make a pick 
and then combo it with the cannon. Ambition stands in the front because he's the one who can tank for days. We're watching in the picture and picture the Baron. They backed on a ward. Genji backed on a ward. I was going to mention it, but three people go back on a ward. Wow, losing an inhibitor. The game is falling apart around them. It's like Inception right now. Pyrian, though, might have been caught out. Trying to one v one. Where did Fly go? That's just going to be the one v one. And Pyrian will die too. But now Blank is going to come in here with a side of effort. Bang trying to Rule get free hit. In. Tali gets the perfect flank here behind Ruler. And that should be enough damage. Takes the two of them out. And as well as Ambition, the last one to survive. The barrel's not going to be enough. And with the Baron buff, it looks like SKT secured game number one. There's only isolated moments for Gen G where it looks like they could win. But the gold lead is because SKT were reliable. Their macro was strong. Their 1 3 1 was strong. They closed out the game. And it's a well deserved victory for SKT. You said it best, Papa. They deserve this one. Gen G, an incredibly strong team, second in the league. But now. Perian coming in here for the side of SKT. They pick up another win up against a really strong team. The streak continues for SKT. Zoe comps have been so strong this week of LCK. Zoe Ezreal, Zoe Varus, all about the siege. What are you going to do against Cleanse Zoe and Cleanse Varus? Well, guess what? You can 1-3-1, make no mistakes, and then make great macro choice in the early game to steal away Drakes that should have been Gen G's on the strong side of the map for Gen G. It was SK Telecom picking up the early Drakes, and then by the end, they were able to play the 1-3-1 close to flawless. Was every engage from Tile perfect? No. Was there some small mistakes? Yes. But when you play the early game so cleanly, you can make a couple of mistakes and still win the game. And again, I mean, Gen G, they're coming off a super hard schedule. They're going into the easier part of their schedule. They're in second place. This should have been the match that they're favored in, but SKT just outplaying them straight up in game number one. A lot of dumbfounded looks on the side of Gen G as perhaps they didn't expect SKT to be this clean, but that they were. We'll see.